It's okay, Xavier. I'm here because... My place is a bit of a mess. You can sit anywhere, though. On your bed. Why don't you go out? <laughs> Cookies, welcome back. Okay, another love and deep space. I'm excited because guess what? We're very close to the parts that I haven't played yet. Yay! Um, it is for reference though. Uh, twelve seventeen. So if I start, if I start, you know, mentally dissociating, you know why? I'm gonna skull my <laughs> my energy drink. That wasn't a sponsor, that seemed like a sponsor too. I wish Monster sponsored me. <laughs> I did try out a new lip combo today. I don't think I'm uh, liking it very much. Anyway, let's let's get into it, shall we? What were we at? We were at, we're done, we're at six. Endless night. Legendary Lumia. Okay, so this is Xavier's story. On the day after returning to LinkedIn City, I went through the application process to access all available databases in the association. However, the word honor kindness was... Sorry, no relevant data entries can be found. Please use another database and try again. you think that it would be there though. I feel like a lot of people know about honor kindness. I feel like it wouldn't be in like a hidden section. How? It didn't seem like a secret since Captain Jenna mentioned them before. Yeah, wow! <laughs> Sometimes it seems staged. Sometimes it seems like I actually remember what's going on in the chapters. I genuinely, half these chapters are a surprise to me. Okay, I have the memory of a goldfish. Swear to God. Are there hidden search results? I try again and type N109 zone. 51 relevant data entries found. The N109 zone. Once a hub for technological advancement was destroyed during the disaster 14 years ago. It became a wasteland. Um... Seems suspicious. Seems like Silas was somehow involved in something 14 years ago. A protofield has engulfed the no-hunt zone, isolating it from the outside world. Wanderers and fog act as a natural barrier, rendering this area free from the government's and the association's jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. Over time, countless misfits and exiles risked their lives to enter the N109 zone. Various factions now exist in the area where violence and crime are the norm. The N109 zone is now a lawless place where morality is unheard of. Text continues to appear on the screen. As I quickly skim, my disappointment only grows. All this vague information. I won't find any leads on the N109 zone from the association. I sigh and end my search. Suddenly, Tara's face appears in front of me. Hey, so how was Snowcrest? Did you have fun? Yes, I went on a date with my Pookie. It was so much fun. Tara! I grab the souvenir I brought back. The snowman. The snowman that she just gave back. That I wanted. I wanted that snowman. The aurora was amazing. The mountains were beautiful. And there was this. You actually remembered? She happily accepts the souvenir and leans in. I noticed you were looking into the N109 zone. Got a new mission already? That's that. a place even veteran hunters won't touch. Shouldn't Captain Jenna be extra prepared before heading in? The fewer people involved with Honor Kindness and District N109, the better. I hesitate for a moment, then beat around the bush. I was just curious. Even if Captain Jenna gave me the mission in person, I wouldn't accept it. Haha. <laughs> <sighs> I see. But I heard the people in the N109 zone are too busy cleaning up their own mess. They won't be causing trouble anytime soon. Are they not? Look, I think she's she hasn't done her research because I'm pretty sure Ed 109 Zone has a rep for a reason. What do you mean? About a month ago, 
not long after our last mission ended, there was quite a spectacle in the N109 zone. Numerous deals were being made on the black market. A whole bunch of protocors were all cleaned out without a trace. And you know how the black market runs. Weapon augmentations, human experiments, medical research. They rely on protocors. Who did it? No one knows. But according to the rumors... Silas? It's Lumiere. Oh. <laughs> Close enough. Both white-haired. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> oh, it's an arrow, actually. Uh, he needs to leave. What are you doing here? Get out. A chair slides into the space between me and Tara. See, why is he so creepy? Why, why can't he be normal? Hey, guys. It's Lumiere. <laughs> like, who does that? Nero? When did you get in here? Yeah, exactly. When did you get in here? Why don't you knock, ever? Why are you... the way you are? Lemire? Yeah. Aside from him, nobody can just go in and out of the N109 zone. Ah! Oh. He pushes up his glasses, a glint of excitement flashing in his eyes. D don't you know who he is? He's a mysterious hunter who appeared during the disaster 14 years ago. He was the first person to successfully kill a wanderer. The wanderer was really stunning. I mean, formidable. It's known as a... I know Limia. And it's possible we met before. Although my memory is a bit fuzzy. I still remember that rusty red rain. I could only see the shadow of a wanderer, but then a beam of light saved me. I still have no idea who protected me. But Lumia hasn't shown up in ages. He's just an urban legend now. To enter the N109 zone for just protocols. Are you sure it's him? 99.9% .9 sure. I heard that after he left the black market, he was on one of N109 zone skyscrapers, destroying protocols like he was setting off fireworks. Only he would be bold enough to provoke everyone in the N109 zone. Destroying protocols? It almost reminds me of... Yeah. <laughs> it sucks that Lumiere's whereabouts are always shrouded in mystery. If we found him, wouldn't places like the N109 zone be under our control? To find Lumiere. Tara's lighthearted joke gives me an idea. Off to find Lumiere! Dear passengers, this is the last train heading to the Lincoln Botanical Garden for the day. If you wish to visit the Lincoln are Botanical unknown. Garden, please board this train. That makes sense. It's hard to find someone after they disappear for years. Oh, sleep here? He sleeps anywhere. Oh no. Oh, 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 ah! Uh. <laughs> I pressed it, I swear. <laughs> Um, hi? Long time. <laughs> I pressed it, I swear. No, I pressed it, I swear. It just wasn't registering. Okay, I need lock in. I need lock in. This is the last train of the huh. day. Passengers who wish now to depart, that I think about please it. be aware. I haven't seen Xavier in over a month. <sighs> a lot of things have happened since then. Is there something outside? Uh, no. I never thought I'd bump into you on the subway. Same. Now I'm worried about what will happen next. Hmm. Please don't say we're about to find ourselves in some crisis. You won't, right? Sorry, but there is a crisis. I'm really hungry and all the stores are closed. Me. Me. Maybe it's because wanderers have been more active lately. Anyway, why are you just going home now? I was thinking about stuff, got distracted, and missed a bunch of trains. Try not to ponder while in dangerous places next time. Try not to sleep in dangerous what? places. Wait, this train isn't going to eat me alive, is it? Haven't you heard of the urban legend? After midnight, an empty train will appear. Anyone unlucky enough to ride it will be dragged into the depths of the abyss. Uh-huh. 
Why is he always trying to scare us? Thirty seconds. If we don't get off here, we'll be trapped in the abyss. Yeah, another ghost story. Do you like telling ghost stories? I take this train all the time. I've never encountered anything out of the ordinary. If something strange does happen, I hope you still have the guts. Strong, independent one. Speaking of which, why does it feel like we've been on this train for a while? We should have reached the next stop by now. This is West Garden Station. Doors West Garden open Station? On the line. That can't be right. They boarded the train here. <laughs> Something's off, Xavier. Let's get out here and... Don't. <sighs> if you get off the train, you'll be stuck with no way out. That can't be because of a ghost, right? Nope, not a ghost. It's a wanderer. Watch out. What? What? What just ha what just happened? Nope, not a ghost. It's a wanderer. Watch out. Uh, over there. Savior, the wanderer is hiding in the glass. Not that side. Oh no! Did that just go for a heart? Okay, Slay, I'm loving these okay. cutscenes. I'm fine. I'm not hurt. Was it just my imagination? No, that literally Again went for the West Garden Station. This train is stuck in a loop. A piece of mirror. The train is trapped within an invisible mirror. That wanderer can travel between glass and mirrors. Find it, otherwise the train will keep going in circles forever. But there are so many windows. Where do we start? I don't remember this. What is with the... Collar? We just... Don't let it hide. This is a sick cutscene. Oh, it ended. Dude, it was just getting good. Dear is the Flux Nexus the related to the appearance of Test Hadley Polka? Who, what now? Oh, all the windows are broken. It's just that I wanted us to look for it carefully. I didn't expect you to. Okay, we played our part too. Don't blame it all on him. I say, I was exhausted. But yeah, it wasn't a good plan. It's okay. I what also other plan? feel responsible. What's that? We'll bear the consequences together. Uh, Xavier? <laughs> Bro fell asleep mid combo. He can fall asleep while standing up? Hiding while exhausted and hungry? You're the most dedicated hunter I've seen. Oh, it looks so good. It was on the way. I didn't expect to be so exhausted. I want it noodles now. was killed by Lumiere 14 years ago, and no others have appeared since. Lumiere? His name keeps showing up. Lumiere? <laughs> yeah. The database says Tezcatlipoca was a troublesome wanderer that appeared 14 years ago. Lumiere was the one who killed it. And this time, when it appeared, you... Just ignore the question. Take. Xavier, you're not Lumiere, right? Uh, uh, no. He appeared 14 years ago. Should be in his 40s by now. And rumor has it that he's a tenant right now. You shouldn't believe everything you hear, especially when someone like him is involved. And I was kidding. You can't he be He has him. such puppy eyes. You don't look like someone in his 40s. Maybe he just has a crazy face routine. You don't know. You're being ageist right now, MC. Why do you need to meet him? I wouldn't say that. I'm just trying my luck. Only one to walk out of the N109 zone unscathed. 
wiped out three important factions in the N109 zone overnight? <laughs> you believe that? I'm just curious. If he can waltz into a dangerous place like the N109 zone and leave without a scratch, he must know a lot. Even if he's in the know, he might not remember much if he has a bad memory. But the more important thing here is, are you interested in him or the N109 zone? I'm... Did you forget what Captain Jenna said? If we want to investigate the modified protocol, we need to look into Anakinus and the N109 zone. The mission doesn't require you to go there. I wasn't planning to. I thought I'd take a quick peek. In the most dangerous place. Just a quick peek. Really? <laughs> Not impressed. I'm well aware it's an area you can't just visit because you feel like it. It's a dangerous place. One mistake and you forfeit your life. If you really want to go. You come with? Then you either have to have strength, or you have to blend in. Care to explain? Care to come? It's like a melting pot. Everyone knows where people's loyalties lie, so they only acknowledge their allies. If you can't use brute force, blending in is the easiest way. But it's also quite the challenge. How do you know all this? Yeah. This stuff isn't top secret. One just needs to dig a little. Yet, no one said anything about it to me before. Yeah, That's enough Lumiere. gossiping for today. This is my house. You should head home too. The sooner the better. Um... Actually... I live here. In this building. He just thought we were walking him home. We're so romantic like that. They both probably thought each other were... <laughs> Just walking them home. <laughs> Never would have expected this. Savior lives on the floor above me. It's not surprising. A lot of hunters live around here. But the fact that we're only separated by a floor is a bit too coincidental. Actually, I moved in over six months ago. So that makes you more suspicious compared to me. <laughs> okay, but you know an awful lot about the N109 zone. Are you sure you're not the suspicious one here? Well, what about you? Huh? Is your interest in the N109 zone only related to the modified protocol? I... Okay, yeah, I do want to go. There's something I need to do there. Could you give me some more info? If it's not too much trouble, of course. <laughs> Is that a yes? Or... If you're so curious, we can meet up tomorrow. Really? It's a date. It's no problem as long as I get a good night's sleep. <laughs> I thought you'd be wide awake right now. Great. Well, thanks in advance. Good night. Tomorrow then. I wonder how much sleep he actually gets, like to be sleeping on trains and stuff. Like, is he just extremely sleep deprived all the time? Or is he just a tired person? Does he not have enough iron? Does he need some supplements? We can buy him some supplements. Outside, a flock of birds fly over the apartments like a cloud of ink spilling into the sky. It's 11 a.m. now, Xavier should already be awake, right? Worried that he isn't, I pace back and forth for another hour. Then I, feeling angsty, immediately head upstairs. Oh, antsy. Can people watching this tell that I'm like dyslexic? I've actually never been tested for it, but I just know it. I don't need to get tested. I know it. <laughs> I know it in my heart when I'm reading. I'm like, damn. I used to cry, actually, when I would have to read books. Who would have thought and now I wouldn't be an author? How, how the turntables. Even when I'm outside unit 602, I can't believe Xavier is basically my neighbor. They have such a nice apartment building. You're here early. <sighs> Xavier yawns, looking almost harmless in his simple white sweater. Orange juice, coffee, or water? Pepsi. Max. 
Huh? Are you thirsty? He takes two matching mugs from the cabinet and heads into the kitchen. It seems like he just woke up. His hair is disheveled, strands sticking out from the back of his head. Water is fine. Ice or no ice? Ice. It's okay, Xavier. I'm here because... My place is a bit of a mess. You can sit anywhere, though. On your bed. Why don't you go out? <laughs> Do you want some breakfast? Fried eggs and toast? Can you cook? Oh, I'm out of eggs. Are sausages okay? Bro, can you even cook them? I know you can't cook. Thank you, but I'm not hungry. Also, it's almost noon. I scoot to the edge of the couch, eager to get down to business. I spent all night thinking that... That... If you'd let me finish. You and Lumia are definitely connected. Ever since we met, you've been constantly looking for something. You just destroy protocols as if they are nothing, when hunters know how important they are. You can kill a wanderer that even a group of hunters would struggle against. Not to mention, the gossip you heard about in the N109 zone is more in depth than the info in the association's databases. At the abandoned research base and in no hunt zone, number seven, maybe your goal aligns with mine as well as honor kindnesses. Xavier looks at me quietly, then flashes a faint smile. So, are you here to confirm my connection to Lumiere? Or are you here for something in the N109 zone? No, we know you're Lumiere. Okay, you need to... You didn't do very good at hiding it. It doesn't matter. I'm just gathering information in a roundabout way. I'd really appreciate it if you can give me some ideas. Xavier lowers his gaze, seemingly lost in thought as he stares into at his slippers. Then he breaks the silence with a question. The protocol we found in the no hunt zone had a red proto curve. Do you know why? No. But I assume you'll tell me. The air seems to freeze for a moment. I feel like I've grasped the unspoken meaning behind his words. I don't. He'll only reveal his cards when he's certain I'm on the same page as him. I take a deep breath and say, It's an ether core. Ether. It's an ether core, right? Do they all know about her heart condition? I feel like they do. I feel like they're all in their own ways trying to save her, right? Right? Surely. Hearing the words ether core, Xavier's eyes widen, a hint of indiscernible emotion appearing. Yet he soon returns to being nonchalant. Yes. The modified protocores in the abandoned research base and no hunt zone number seven possess energy derived from an ether core. How can the Hunters Association not be aware of them? He thinks for a moment before shaking his head. They aren't for now. Oh, we got a little secret between us. The Hunters Association only knows it holds powerful energy they don't have the means to analyze it. They won't be making any progress on that front for a while. Why didn't you tell them? You didn't tell them either, right? You got me there! <laughs> he remains calm as he avoids answering my question. Everyone has secrets and their reasons for doing things. Regardless, I won't be your enemy. No enemies to lovers. It's friendship. Friendship. Strangers? Strangers to friends to lovers. Xavier is strangers to friends to lovers. Raphael is... I wouldn't really call them enemies, but I wouldn't... Strangers to co-workers. Yes, because the whole bodyguard thing. Strangers to co-workers to lovers. Zane is childhood friends to strangers to... Friends to lovers. <laughs> and Silas, I don't know yet. I'm assuming enemies to lovers. Strangers to enemies to lovers. I would assume. He gives that vibe. He gives book talk vibe. And it appears you have more secrets than me. I don't know about that, actually. 
Nervous. I burnt my gaze. <laughs> secrets? What secrets? What are you talking about? <laughs> the reason you want to investigate the N109 zone is because of your family. Am I wrong? Family? What family? My whole family's dead, actually. I don't know- I don't know anything about my parents. Graham Graham's dead. My childhood best- best friend probably lied and faked his death. You also heard about it. I take a deep breath and look into his eyes. The secrets surrounding the ether core can explain what happened to me and them. But since we both want to look into this, even if you aren't my enemy now, you might be later. Oh. Strangers, to friends, to enemies, to lovers. I'm down for it. <laughs> Distressed, Xavier furrows his brow. I suddenly apologize to him in my heart. Suddenly, he grabs my arm and uses it, the interface for the hunter's watch. Hm, what? Suddenly, he grabs my arm and the user interface for the hunter watch appears. Xavier has requested to synchronize access privileges. Accept. Before I can react, Xavier accepts the request on my watch. Synchronizing access privileges. Please wait. Synchronization complete. Your current access privileges are at the highest level. We just got scary dog privileges again. You can use the best training grounds available. Use the S rank database and request weapons from Armory 0001 through 0005. I stand corrected. We got sugar daddy uh, privileges. Yeah, we did. Oh, we did. I'm stunned. Me too. With an air of serenity, Xavier smiles at me. So this is how you've been living this whole time? Now do you trust me? I don't know, why didn't you share your privileges earlier? You gave me access privileges just like that? You should have thought about- it. you should have thought about it some more. They expire in 24 hours. Oh, yeah. I remember being so disappointed. It, it come back to me. I remember being so disappointed the first time this happened. I was like, oh, I was so excited. I was like, we're gonna go to the gym. We're gonna be doing hot girl shit. We're gonna be living the elite life. Wait, actually, this has got me thinking. If he has all these privileges, right? That means that the Hunters Association has to know that he's Lumiere, right? Lumiere? Right? Because otherwise he wouldn't be given these privileges. And he'd be in the database for too long. Like, they'd know that he's 40, right? So they'd know his species too, right? What species even is he? How can he live that long? You have 23 hours and 59 minutes remaining. Okay. Well, I have to go then. I quickly- <laughs> Yeah. I quickly stand up and get ready to leave. I take a few steps before turning around. Okay, bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Nothing in this world can be fully explained. Still, I hope you find out the truth. Thank you. Your support is appreciated. Leaning against the bookshelf, he waves. As soon as I reach the door, a strange scent catches my attention. I turn around again. Did you forget something? Apparently... <laughs> he burnt the food. <laughs> I know it! <laughs> Xavier, what's that smell? Something's burning. <laughs> you must have left the oven on. Yep. Yeah, because this is how we find out that he's bad at cooking. Oops. It's okay. You can't be good at everything, you know? You have to be bad at some things. Okay, um, well, I might cut this one here. I love replaying all of this. This is like replaying for the first time, except like I've got a little bit more hints of what's going on. I'm usually too overwhelmed the first time I read like a story or watch a show anyways, to pick up on all of the little things anyways, so. Okay, goodbye and thank you for watching. Mwah, mwah, I love you all. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Okay, goodbye, mwah, I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah.